If you wanted 10x your income in 2025, then the best thing to learn is 3D animations. This is by using the camera tool inside of After Effects, and this is really the best way to level up your video editing. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can be creating this animation right here. It is pretty beginner friendly, but it's such a great way to just get the basics down, and then you can start by creating more advanced stuff. And when we're on the topic of more advanced stuff, if you wanna check out Jonas Essentials, then the link is in the description. And without further ado, let's just get into the animation. First of all, just type out your text and then start by adding the camera. I'm going to be using the 35 millimeter preset with the two noded camera. Once you have added your camera, we need to be able to control this camera. And to do so, we are going to be using a null object. We do this so we don't mess up the camera settings. Just take all of your layers on 3D and then just link it to the null object. That is so easy. And now we're going to be creating a keyframes for the position and C rotation. Go to the start and then just start by adjusting the settings to the positions we want it to start at. We're choosing the two views and the custom view one so we can really see the 3D space and then it will be easier to adjust. I'm adding a slight tilt on this animation and then I'm highlighting all of my keyframes, pressing F9, then going into the speed graphs. Here are the settings you need to get the speed graph that I'm using right now. And the graph that we want to have is that we want to have it all the way like a big uh, curve in the middle so it goes really fast and then slows down but it will be sort of smooth so just copy the graph that i'm using right now and you should get the same results that i'm using now once you're happy with the results we can move on so we want to have a text that will come in behind and how we do that is simply by adding another um, null object because we're going to be creating a new animation and then add a new text layer. I'm just going to be duplicating the text that we already have. And what we want to do is that we just want to take this text and put it all the way behind. And we're going to be using this uh, set uh, value and then just be dragging it in the back. And I'm going to be typing out percents. And let's just drag that all the way back um, but we're going to have to do some opacity keyframing so it will not be in the way in the start of our animation as you guys can see now you can see it now and it's pretty disturbing so let's just go to the new null object put it on 3d and then just link the camera and then link the other uh, null object to the new uh, null object so you can be still controlling um, the movement so don't link it from the camera but link it from uh, the other null object and now we're just going to be dragging the C position all the way through uh, and until we are at close up uh, with the presents text as this now I'm just going to be adjusting it to the middle until we have something like this but this is way too fast so I'm going to be dragging out the keyframes a bit uh, also for the next thing that we're going to be adding we're going to be adding some emojis and now we really need to work with the environment and just setting up good 3d environments so we're going to be doing the same thing here f9 and then be adjusting the graph until we get something that is pretty smooth i like it to be fast in the start and then smooth out at the end this will really replicate a real looking camera movement but Okay, so now we're going to be going for the text in the back and then just adding a opacity keyframe to zero and then adding another one at 100. So as you guys can see, when we go through the first text layer, then this one will start to appear. Now I'm just dragging in some uh, emojis uh, so we can just place these. So I'm just using the C um, uh, set value. We can just start by just making sure how far in the front we want it or how far in the back. You see to the right, the camera, um, we can see where sort of the emojis are sort of depth uh, wise. So it's a really nice thing to just have that two views open. Uh, but also the reason that we're using two uh, or many null object is because if you only have one, um, we cannot overlap the keyframes because if we overlap the keyframes with many null objects, we can then easily create a movement that does not stop, but is seamlessly uh, just working its way through many um, animations at one time but now we're adding the last emoji putting it all the way in the back and as you guys can see now we have this really nice depth that just really uh, resembles a cool animation now i'm adding an adjustment layer so we can be adding the deep glow if you don't have the deep glow you can just use the vr uh, glow which is a free preset inside of after effects but if you have the uh, ability to use the deep glow then i highly recommend it 
Now for the next effect, we're going to be adding the Venation Blinds. Uh, this is just used a ton uh, with video editing, especially these 3D animations. You can play around with the settings. I'm just using these settings right here to just get that CRT old TV look. Um, but it is a really nice animation and um, it just really gives um, another level of, uh, of professionalism to the scene. But I just want to turn this width all the way down so it's not too obvious. Let's put it on three. Actually, I think like two would even be better here, but let's just keep it as three. Now for the next animation, we're going to be adding the Poisterized Time, which I just call the Iman Godzi effect because this will uh, take our animation and then just slow it down to 16 frames per second. I think we're going to go with 16 here because that looks smooth, but this basically just brings the animation down um, some frames until it looks that you have that old sort of uh, slow animation style. Then I'm adding a bit of noise. Um, and then we should be happy with this animation right here. There is still one thing that I want to add. So let's just see. I want to be adding the warp um, because if you go to the warp style and then you press on the fish eye, we can get this slight warp effect which i think looks good when we're working with 3d spaces so just play around with these settings until you get something that you like i've displayed some effects here that you can take and use on your own uh, but i hope that you found this video helpful I, as i said this is not a really advanced um, 3d animations but it is a great way to just get started and get the essential skills to be able to create more advanced stuff if you guys want more 3D animation uh, tutorials, I can start by creating some more advanced or if you want motion graphics, I can do whatever.